The challenge days are designed for six teams of six students. If you're carrying out the challenge with smaller groups, we find groups of no larger than six and no smaller than four best. If you're inviting other schools to compete against each other on your challenge day, why not have a teacher's team as well? They probably won't win, but they can definitely be very competitive. It usually works best if you organise the students into their teams and then leave them to decide what roles within the teams each member will take on. To be effective, teams will need to work together well. It is crucial that every member of the team understands that they have a role of engineer, although some may take on additional responsibilities. Teamwork is key and each member should be willing to ask and receive help from team members. When putting together teams, it is useful to choose a mix of personalities and learning styles to create a team with a diverse skill set. Let's look at the roles your students could be taking on. The project manager is responsible for the work which needs to be done meeting the deadlines. This role is not about being the loudest member of the group, it's about motivating the teams and keeping them focused and calm. The accountant is responsible for budgeting, buying materials at the shop and keeping the team's account sheet. There will also be other roles which may be specific to the challenge, such as technical engineers and safety and communications officers. These are explained in the student documents or in the presentation. These roles can support students taking ownership of the challenge, making them feel that they are a valued member of the team. Each challenge has other roles which students can choose, but the key thing is to ensure that all students are involved in the engineering and that teams do not split into those who do and those who write. Remind them that all members of the team must understand how their prototype was constructed.